for a rabbit it only carries a gestation period is usually one, one month in a year a rabbit gives birth four times in a year uh, approximately a rabbit can give birth to uh, 10 kids approximately that even others can go up to 13 but 10 let's say approximately those 10 kids in a year i can say i one rabbit gives me 40 kids at the at the age of two months which is start selling my rabbits it at 1000 shillings it, just do the math how much how many how much i'll be having in a year and i have all these rabbits which are female now you can imagine how much i make i am a maasai girl Merim Payo, like you've heard before, in Kajado County. So for Maasai, people consider them as pastoralists, uh, gender-based people, like mostly they consider men in the society. But here I am, a Maasai lady, with all these rabbits, putting rabbits with the support of my parents, which is, uh, I really thank them because they supported me here. They didn't uh, say that they need, I need to put cows, no. Like they supported me to put this rabbit business, which is giving me good money. And for the youth, I advise you that the, uh, anything can give you money. Just look at the internet, open your eye and see because anything can give you money. Keep it farming with AIM Agriculture. Uh -huh. If you're new, ah, just do that thing. Eh? <laughs> Subscribe, like, and share. We are in Kajado County. Yes, Kajado County, Tengela. This is the land for Masai. Masai. <laughs> <laughs> and a Masai lady is doing wonders. Yeah. This is Kitengela Rabbitry. Rabbitry. And she'll take us through welcome hi beautiful people my name is Marin Payo the rabbit queen you can see here I keep rabbits so many breeds so many colors you can see many colors here that means I have variety of breeds I mostly do rabbit for breeds and uh, uh, most of the time I also get meat uh, orders uh, which I also do for mostly friends but for the breeders, I also I go until international. Okay, these are Flemish giants. You can see how huge they are. Male and a female being breeded. This is the female and this is the male. You can actually see the female is usually bigger, much bigger than the male. For the Flemish giant, they are usually much huge because the bone ratio is usually huge than the meat ratio. For the Flemish giant, I'll prefer someone to have them as males. I can see here, I have male and a female. I need them to give me pure breed Flemish giants. Because mostly I do breeders. That's why I have the two of them, which will give me pure breed Flemish giant rabbits. This one, I have an F1 checkered giant rabbit, this one. And this is a Dutch uh, chocolate Havana. It's usually very rare because I, I tend like when she gives birth, everyone's books the rabbit. Like none remains. If you need to know a pure breed uh, Flemish giant, you see it has two butterflies on its nose. This and this. If it has two butterflies, that is a pure breed checkered giant. Because someone can tell you, oh, I have a, a pure breed. Flemish giant, but it doesn't have the two butterflies, so that is not a pure breed. We know the F1 with two butterflies. So here I have the Angora rabbits. Angora rabbits mostly are kept as pets. You can see how hairy, feathery they are. They no like they have fur. So for the Angora rabbits. Uh, usually more people don't buy it as meat because uh, who will actually eat this beautiful thing it's very pretty you just have to put it in your house this is my palomino rabbit you can see it's like orange in color very rare breed palomino usually are very good mothers you can see here she has one little kit very beautiful also palomino 
very beautiful for the palomino they are uh, mostly keep them as females because they are good mothers they can feed and look after their kids very well so we next we've come to the california california you can differentiate it with the new zealand because of its black ears black nose black legs and the black tail I can show you right here <laughs> the black nose black ears black legs and black tail we have the chinchilla rabbit here oh this chinchilla gave birth to six kids now you can see one kid they are already sold out like my rabbits like they don't even stay in the farm at the age of two months this is actually two months old i can show you she's two months old she's already sold out uh, the rest she's only the one remaining actually i wanted her to remain because she look more of her mother you know when you sell your rabbits don't sell them all you just have to put one so that when the mother passes away you know obviously for farmers uh, something calamities can happen so you have the remaining the sire that you have the breed in your farm oh so this is my dutch earlope female she's actually the best mother uh, last time she gave birth she gave birth to 14 kids i can see right now she has like one two three four five like five kids the last time she gave birth to 14 and she nurtured them and they all grew up all so loud here we can see we have a havana earlope she's an earlope havana she's a she was born here at my farm uh, she's a, also a very good mother right now she's pregnant that's why i'll keep this crate over here so that she can prepare to give birth i put this crate uh like um almost four days before her date of birth the date of giving birth yes rabbit farming uh came to me as a like i can actually say it's a joke because uh, I had a friend who had rabbits and the rabbits were dying of hunger. I went to his farm. I, actually, he had like the local rabbits. You can see like, right now I have the hybrid. I felt so bad. Like how could you let a beautiful creature like this die of hunger? Like I just told him like, just give me this rabbit. I go and keep it. I came to my mom, talk, talk to my mom. I told mom, I need to, we need to put rabbits in our farm. So after putting those rabbits, they started giving birth. You know, rabbits give birth after like one month. They start giving birth to many litter. So many, they started multiplying. So one day we had this visitor. She came to buy manure at our farm because we have so many cows. She came to buy manure. Uh, so she saw the rabbits. She told me, ah, I'm a doctor and my patients, the diabetes, the diabetes patients, they usually need a rabbit meat, which is very healthy for their health, like it helps them. So she bought the rabbits, she bought all those rabbits that I had that day. So that is when I realized, oh, this is actually a business opportunity. That's when I started, uh, I just said I need to go investigate about rabbit business. I went to YouTube, to books. I, I researched that's when I, I gained the interest of putting rabbits with my passion of loving rabbits they are very beautiful creatures that's when I started the rabbit business rabbit I it's actually a part-time job because rabbits do not require much effort actually I'm I usually at the farm on weekends only because uh, I'll, on the weekdays my mom is there she feeds them in the evening in the morning we give water and some hay only the evening that we give pellets it's not much work you just go putting in each each cage but all weekends i'm usually home to make sure that the rabbits are safe to make sure that the rabbits housing is clean like today i just have to uh, make sure that later in the day i have to wash the cages because the rabbits they usually need a clean environment rabbit business is very profitable like I can say like one rabbit, it car you know, the rabbit, once it uh, gets pregnant, it carries the pregnancy for one month, only one month. Then it gives birth to kids. I told you I had a rabbit which gives gave birth to 14 kids at the age of two months. That's when I start selling my kids. One kid, I sell it at a thousand bob at two months. So 
uh, you can actually calculate the next uh, with two months. That's when the rabbit uh, stops suckling its mother. That's when I can sell it. And the mother goes back to the mill to get pregnant again. So imagine in a year, how many times the rabbit can get pregnant and give me how many kids. I, I tell it's like a very profitable job uh, business. So I started by uh, just having you know those chicken houses, the small chicken houses? I went and borrowed from someone a small chicken house. I started putting the rabbits there. Uh, <laughs> sometimes I could find the rabbits have fallen down, the dog has eaten the rabbits. It was a big challenge, but I didn't give up. I, I continued uh, to make the structures better. Uh, I, care, I went for the broiler houses. I had a neighbor who had broiler houses. I put the rabbits there, but I could find them their legs were hurting because those are not her rabbit houses, they are broiler houses. So I, uh, with the broiler houses, I can say they helped me to uh, keep more rabbits. With a big number of rabbits, I was able to sell them and make these good cages. Because the rabbits actually themselves have given me the cash to make these good cages that I have right now. The fastest moving breed in my farm is actually the one that I'm holding. It is the checkered giant rabbit. It's a checkered, very beautiful. You can see it. Uh, they also giants. And the second one, I can say, is the Flemish giant rabbit. This one that we saw earlier, the big Flemish giant rabbits. They're the second best rabbits that many people do buy. Keep it farming with aim, agriculture. In my farm, nothing goes to waste for the rabbits i do sell them at different ages different prices at uh, two months which i start selling them 1000 shillings three months it's 1500 shillings four months is 1600 shillings five months is 2000 shillings six months which you consider is, is considered at as a mature rabbit at six months that is when it can give birth it can breed so at six months, we start selling it at 3,000. More mature rabbits, we sell it at 4,000 and beyond, depending with the, with the age, with the breed and the size. Also, we can see for, we have rabbit manure here. For the rabbit manure, we use it in the farm. We also sell it, some farmers come and buy it. And the pipes here, we collect the rabbit urine here. We, we package it and we sell to farmers. For the manure, here I sell it at 5,000 per ton. For the rabbit urine, I sell it at, a, at 80 shillings per liter, which is a very good pesticide for your organic farm. The main challenge that I have here in my farm is usually when a uh, diseases. Sometimes disease, a disease can attack a rabbit. You don't know which disease it is. You find the rabbit is dying, but you can you can you go to the agrovet, ask the agrovet. My rabbit has these symptoms, but they also do not know more about rabbit uh, diseases. So uh, I kept on studying more about rabbit diseases, which has actually helped me to manage them. Uh, uh, another challenge for uh, that I have here is usually the cold season. When it is more cold, the rabbit. Gets, uh, tend to sneeze more, uh, which is a very, I, I actually, I just don't like hearing the sneezing sound in my farm because I just need them to be healthy all the time because I know the sneezing sound is not so much healthy. In five years, I actually see myself like owning like over 5,000 rabbits in a big rabbit farm. Like I just need to expand. I just need to go international. I don't know how, but I have to. This is a rabbit pellet that I do feed my rabbits. You can see it comes in the pellet form. The rabbit pellets, I usually mostly use the pembe feeds. I find it so good. I usually buy the rabbit pellets, 50 kgs at 2,400 shillings. Uh, this actually the, uh, around four bags of 50 kgs that is what they consume in a month from the rabbit pellets I also feed them hay 
hay is usually like I give them a supplement mostly for their feeding I give them during the day today I've not given them because uh, I give them like not daily but once uh, or twice a week usually I find it so healthy because it has system in the digestion and water is an essential is a very essential to them sometimes I give them feeds from my farm because I don't use any pesticide in the farm I use their rabbit urine in the farm so the, it's very healthy to them you won't find them dying because of the harsh chemicals harsh pesticides from the farm so I just make I make sure that the, the feeds the feeds from the farm are usually dried sun dried for some hours before feeding them I dream big I have the passion, I have what it takes, I have the space, I'm near town, I can do the deliveries and also the market is huge, it's a huge market and I can't even satisfy it. All I need is someone who can partner with me to hold me so that we can satisfy this huge rabbit market business.